Hi, and welcome to Kit Guru with me, Alistair. And in this video, we're going to take a look at the Loft 25 Game Over Apex Gaming Chair. Before we get started, please make sure to like and subscribe using the buttons below. The Game Over brand is part of Loft 25 Group, and they've been the makers of beanbag chairs for gamers for several years now. However, the Apex Gaming Chair is the latest addition to their lineup. But at £299.99, pence, does it feel like a fledgling product or a chair for seasoned gamers? Before we can dive into the look or feel of the chair, we first need to build it. Ah. Whew. That is one heavy boy. The package has quite a bit of weight when delivered, but it's not a two person lift. My office is on the first floor and that would be the second floor to any American viewers. So that means I had to hike it upstairs, which I was able to do so alone and considering I'm a self-confessed indoor kid, upper body strength isn't exactly my strong point. Let's start putting it together. So whilst we speed through the building process, there's a few points worth noting. Firstly, the only tool you really need to build the chair is a combination Allen wrench screwdriver, which is provided with the chair. And the instructions provided are pretty clear and easy to follow. I would point out that though the instructions indicate the armrests come attached to the base of the chair, this wasn't the case with the one that I received and I had to attach them myself. I don't know if this is an oversight, but it's just a slight error as attaching the arms isn't exactly a challenge. Overall, putting the chair together was actually really quick and it only took me around 30 minutes from getting the box into the room to sitting in the completed chair. If I hadn't dropped the Allen wrench more times than I could count, then I'm sure it would have been even quicker. Overall, it only takes 16 M8 screws to get the main frame of the chair together. Attaching the backrest takes two either side, each armrest needs four, and then the multi-tilt mechanism needs another four. There are two additional Phillips head screws to attach covers over the bracket connecting the backrest and the seat base. And there were two screw holes on the base of the chair where it appears as though the padding had been cut out but not fully, so I did have to pull some foam out before inserting the screws. If I compare the build of the Apex gaming chair with my normal mesh back chair, putting together the Apex was far simpler and quicker. The Apex chair is built around a durable steel frame, which is where the majority of the aforementioned weight comes from, and it does feel really sturdy because of this. The padding is cold foam, making it comfortable while still retaining shape for longer, which which is really important because anyone that's had a chair with worn out padding knows how uncomfortable that experience can be. The majority of the exterior is perforated PU leather, which gives it breathability and stops any weird, awkward moments where you have to literally peel yourself out of the chair. On either side of the backrest are suede panels, which are not only aesthetically pleasing, but do give the chair a premium feel. The headrest pillow is made from memory foam, which is very comfortable, and the whole pillow is also suede covered. My personal highlight from the chair is the integrated lumbar support. I've tried so many gaming chairs with the lumbar support pillows and never found one that I could be comfortable with over long periods, either due to the pillow being too stiff or just moving as I lean forward. With the integrated lumbar support in the Apex, this isn't really an issue and it's really easy to adjust just using the dial on the side of the chair. All of this sits on top of a safety class four gas lift with an aluminium base and five plastic wheels. Now, not everyone sits in exactly the same way with perfect posture, so adjustability is important. The 4D armrests allow for adjusting their height, the depth, the angle they sit at from the backrest, and the distance from the center of the seat, each with their own button apart from the angle adjustment. I find this nice as it means you aren't constantly having to readjust as you may accidentally move something. And even though the angle adjustment doesn't have a button, it takes enough force that you'd be unlikely to do it without meaning to. The armrest itself is covered with a grippy textured surface, which isn't as abrasive as a few armrests I've tried. I've had some cases where resting on the arm of some gaming chairs can start to feel like leaning on sandpaper after a while, and I'm happy to say that the Apex armrests definitely don't feel this way. A nice touch is the gradual curvature on top of the armrest rather than just a flat surface, which I like, 
Although if I am being picky, the top plate of the armrest is a little loose and a little rattly. The final adjustments to mention are the three located on the seat base. Firstly, the lever on the right hand side pulls up, allowing you to tilt the backrest up or down with a maximum angle of recline of 165 degrees. Underneath the seat, we have the paddle for unlocking or locking the rocking mechanism on the left and on the right, a paddle for adjusting seat height. Now, I'm about six feet tall and at the chair's full height, my ankles don't touch the ground. So there's quite good scope for both tall and short folks finding a comfortable seating height. One complaint that I do have is that the paddles are quite short, so I find myself awkwardly trying to lean over the armrests or actually scratching myself on the underside of them if I reach around the back because it's not perfectly smooth. Now, I've talked a lot about the construction of the chair, but how does it look? Well, in my opinion, it's actually quite sleek and stylish. The gaming chair market is so saturated and so many competitors opt for big sections of the chair to be brightly coloured, but I like the darker suede and the matching stitching that goes with it. You can choose between four different coloured suede panels, grey, blue, red like the one that I have here, and black. In the centre of the backrest there's this nice chevron pattern and there's some very high quality embroidery on display with the apex name on the right shoulder and the rear of the backrest and the game over branding on both sides of the headrest and on the pillow itself. The final thing to mention with regards to how the chair looks are the carbon fibre style panels on both the backrest and the seat base, which I think are really nice. Final note from me that may not be a selling point for everyone, but if, like me, you're a bedroom guitarist, I was actually able to put the armrests back far enough to sit and play the guitar without having to sit on the very edge of the seat, which might seem trivial, but if you know, you know. When it comes to gaming chairs with so many on the market, finding the right one can be difficult. But after spending some time with the Game Over Apex, I'd happily recommend it to anyone looking at a mid-price gaming chair. If you're looking for something well built with real usable adjustable lumbar support, I don't think you can go wrong here. I think it's a really comfortable chair with some very stylish looks, but I do wish there was less of a rattle from the armrests and slightly longer paddles underneath the seat base. If this isn't your thing, then maybe check out the Secret Lab Omega 2020, which has a lot more customization options when purchasing, or the Noble Chairs Hero, which also features integrated adjustable lumbar support, but has a wider range of material choices for the exterior of the chair. What are your thoughts? Are you in the market for a new chair, or have you already found your perfect gaming throne? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful as it really helps the Kit Guru channel out and hit the bell icon if you want to be notified whenever we upload. You can follow us on all social media platforms from the latest from Kit Guru and if you want to get yourself some Kit Guru merch then you can find it from the link below. As always, thank you for watching.